Welcome to the video lecture series on syntax directed translation of Boolean expressions. So, this is a prominent topic uh, connected with the subject called as principles of compiler design. And uh, in today's video lecture, we will be elaborately learning about uh, the different types of Boolean expressions where syntax directed translation can be applied in order to convert that into a three address code. This is Dr. K. N. Sobalan. And the Boolean expressions have uh, two primary purposes. Uh, one kind of purpose is called as computing the logical values. The other is actually to evaluate the conditional expressions. So, logical values we have and or not values. In other case, we will try to find whether the co corresponding expression is true or not. So, that is called as conditional expressions. So, the procedures which are used for the semantic actions in uh, connected to this Boolean expressions are called as new temp. A new temp is a procedure or a function which creates a temporary variable. And uh, there is another function called as uh, emit which creates a three address code uh, to the output. Uh, the third is called as a next state. Next state is actually the, uh, represents the current location of the statement. So, these are the three uh, functions which is connected with uh, semantic actions. Now, we have a list of protections on the left side and the corresponding semantic actions has been given on the right side. For instance, when we have uh, E tends to E1 or E2, now we will create a temporary variable for this E that is called as E dot place equal to new temp, then we will just try to convert that E dot place is equal to E 1 dot place or E 2 dot place. Now, E tends to E 1 and E 2 when this protection is given, simultaneously what we have done for uh, our expression will be done here except uh, we will be applying AND operation here. That means, a temporary variable will be created for E, then E dot place is equal to E 1 dot place and E 2 dot place. If e, e is equal to not of E1, then we will create a temporary variable for E, then we just write uh, emit E dot place is equal to not of E1 dot place. So, that means if E1 is true, E is false. If E1 is false, E is true. Then we have E tends to E1, that means E dot place is equal to E1 dot place. Now, we will go for the relational operator. So, first we have E tends to ID 1, relational operator E 2, E 2, ID 2, R E L O P is called as a relational operator. Anything greater than symbol, less than symbol, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, all these are called as a relational operators. Now, if a relational operator is given, E dot place is equal to create a new temporary variable, then if uh, id 1 dot place relational operator id 2 dot place then go to next day state plus 3 that means the current state plus 3 you have to go now if the condition is false we obviously make e dot place is equal to 0 and uh, very subsequent line you will go for that and then we go to next state plus 2 that means the current uh, location plus 2 it will go and if the condition is true, then we will make E place is equal to 1. So, obviously, this is uh, the way of actually generating a 3 address code for the corresponding relational operator expression. If E tends to E is equal to true, then we create a temporary variable E1 and then we just make E dot place is equal to 1. If E is equal to false, we again create a temporary variable, then we assign it the corresponding temporary variable is equal to 0. 0. Now, we will try to evaluate this expression A and not B of R. Now, we will try to create a th job 3 address code for this specific expression. So, we have converted that into a equivalent tree format. Now, when we talk about this one, this corner, right corner here, because this comparatively, because not of B will be getting evaluated first. So, when we have a precedence order A and not or B, so not has the highest precedence, then and has the next precedence, then R has the least precedence. So, this is the order. So, here not of E has to be evaluated. So, not of E1 has to be evaluated. Instead of this E1, we have a value called as B. So, first this will get evaluated. Then what happens here is E dot place is equal to obviously called as B. 
because e1 is actually holding a value called as b. So, obviously, e dot place is equal to e b. Now, we will evaluate this subtree. When we evaluate this subtree, e2 tends to not of e. So, now we will look into the expression. So, if not of e1 means we have to generate a temporary variable. So, here e2 dot place called as a temporary variable. So, t1 is a temporary variable. Then, t1 should be written as uh, 3 address code that means emit of e dot place is equal to not of e1 dot place that means in this case e dot place is equal to t1 and uh, not of e1 dot place is equal to b so we will get an expression called as t1 is equal to not of b so t1 is equal to not of b we are getting that now we will like uh, evaluate the next expression here so this one is called as e1 dot place is equal to a because e1 is processing a value called as a here so e1 dot place is equal to a now we will evaluate this tree. So e1 tends to e1 dot place and e2 dot place. So this is the category. Now when we have an expression like this, now if this is the case, then e1 should be created a temporary variable. Now this e1 should be created a temporary variable. Already we have created a temporary variable called as t1. So we will create another temporary variable called as t2. So e1 dot place is equal to t2. Now if this is the expression, what it says, if e1 and uh, e tends to e1 and e2, that means we have to write create a temporary expression. We have to create a three address code such as e1 dot place is equal to e dot place is equal to e1 dot place and e2 dot place. So e dot place is actually t2. e dot place is equal to t2 now. e1 dot place is equal to a and e2 dot place equal to t1. So, we will get a 3 address code such as t2 equal to a and t1. So, t2 equal to a and t1. Now, we will go for evaluating this part. So, e2 dot place is equal to c here. Now, we will evaluate the topmost uh, uh, portion of the tree, right? That is this one. So, when we try to evaluate it, so it is equal to e tends to e1 or e2. So, now we have to create a temporary variable for this e. So, already two temporary variables have been created that is t1 and t2. Now, we will create a temporary variable called as t3. Now, if this is the case, then we have to make a three address code called as e dot place is equal to e1 dot place or e2 dot place. So, instead of e dot place, t3, t3 is there e1 dot place, t2 is there and e2 dot place is equal to c. So, we will get an expression called as t3 is equal to t2 or c. So, t2 or c that is what we are getting that. So, this is the way of evaluating a 3 address code for a uh, logical expression. Now, we will uh, try to evaluate uh, expression a 3 address code for this given uh, relational operator expression a is greater than b and uh, c is less than d. So, when we apply the production rules we will get a tree like this we will get a tree like this. So, now we will evaluate this tree on the step by step fashion. So, now id dot place is equal to a because this id 1 is actually holding a value called as a. So, id 1 dot place is equal to a. Now, we will go for id 2. id 2 is actually having a value called as b. So, id 2 dot place is equal to b. Now, this id 1 dot place is equal to c. So, we have id 1 dot place is equal to c. Now, this id 2 is having a value called as d. So, id 2 dot place is equal to d. Now, we will evaluate the expression here. So, when we evaluate this uh, subtree, now e1 uh, is equal to id2 dot place relational operator id2 dot place is equal to b. Now, we will create a temporary operator here. So, e1 will be created a temporary variable. So, that is called as t1. Now, if we have a temporary variable, what it says? That means, we have to create if a is greater than b that means id1 dot place is a and relational operator is greater than symbol and id2 dot place is equal to b so now go to of next state plus 3 so go to of next state is current state current state is 100 plus 3 it is equal to 1 or 3 now when you come for the next one we will write it as t1 is equal to 0 if condition is false in 101 we will write t1 is equal to 0 now when you go for 1 or 2, it is the next state plus 2. That means, go to of next state plus 2. So, go to of next state is 1 or 2. 
102 plus 2 is 104. Now, 103 we automatically have T1 is equal to 1. That is what the condition expression says. Now, we will evaluate this portion. So, when we evaluate this portion, so E2 is having a value called as, uh, we have to create this value, a temporary variable for E2. So, E2 uh, will have a temporary variable called as T2 because already T1 has been created. So, we will have a temporary variable called as T2. Now, we will just do this. Now, in uh, address 104, we have to write if id1 dot place, id1 dot place is equal to c is greater than, sorry, less than, relational operator is less than here and id2 dot place is equal to d, okay. So, in uh, current state 104, we have to write if c less than d and uh, we will write 104 current state is 104, so 104 plus 4 plus 3 is 107. So, so here it is given like this 104 plus 3 is equal to 107. The next one is uh, this if condition is false, we have to make this as 0. So, current uh, temporary variable is T2, so we will make 105 as T2 as 0. Now, the next is in 106, we will write go to of 106 plus 2 is equal to 108. So, go to of 106 plus 2 is equal to 108. Now, in 107, we will make T2 is equal to 1 if the condition is true. So, T2 is equal to 1. So, T2 is equal to 1. So, this is a way of generating a 3 address code. Now, we will go evaluate the final process here. So, the final process is uh, since we have E tends to E1 and E2. So, if this is the condition, then we create a temporary variable for this E. So, temporary variable for E is T3 because T1 and T2 has been already created. Now, we will write that the statement is E dot place is equal to E1 dot place and E2 dot place. This, okay. So, E1 dot place is equal to T3, E dot place is equal to T3, uh, T3 E1 dot place is equal to T1 and E2 dot place is T2. So, we will write it as T3 equal to T1 and T2. So, in 108, we will write T3 equal to T1 and T2. So, this is a way of actually generating a 3 address code uh, for the corresponding Boolean and uh, logical expressions and uh, relational operator expressions. So, that is about uh, generation of uh, 3 address code for uh, Boolean statements. So, thanks for watching a video. Have a good day.